While the White House doesn't like to use the term crisis to describe the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border, a new poll found 50 percent of Americans and 74 percent of Republicans saying that illegal immigration across the U.S.-Mexico border is a crisis. Joe Biden has put his vice president in charge of the problem. When she speaks, she speaks for me doesn't have to check with me. She knows what she's doing. But the former director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Tom Homan, told yeah. Fox News he couldn't think of a worse pick to lead the border effort. Look, she supports sanctuary cities. She wrote legislation to reward those who illegally entered the United States. She vilified the men and women of the Border Patrol during last year, saying they're mistreating immigrants. She, she's, she's an open borders advocate. She wants to abolish ICE. She compared immigration officers to the KKK right. during a Senate hearing. Arizona Secretary Governor Mario Doug Ducey also said Harris was the worst possible we choice to tackle to the border the crisis, telling the Arizona Republic newspaper at no point in her career has she given any indication that she considers the border a problem or a serious threat. Monday, when asked if she was going to the border, the Harris is. laughed. Do you plan to visit the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> Meanwhile, a group of Republican senators are set to visit the southern border this week. So I'm going down to the Texas border to take a look because I can't look on any media and be able to tell what's going on because not a single member of the media is allowed to be able to go to take a look at this facility. That's not true of any of the four previous administrations. The White House has released government video shot last week, which reveals cramped conditions. This facility, meant to hold 250 people, now bursting with close to 4,000. Children seen sleeping on the floor under foil blankets. Dale Hurd, CBN News.